Children's books are pulling in serious cash on Amazon every single month. However, creating them manually costs a lot and takes a significant amount of time to finish. But don't worry, because there are three easy ways you can generate a children's book just by using AI tools for free. Here, I'll show you how. First off, we'll craft a story using Claude AI content. And I'll show you how to create a children's book with Leonardo AI and finally piece it all together on the Canva website. I assure you, with these tools, you can whip up your own children's book in as little as an hour. Plus, I'll share a tip on how to boost your children's book business on Amazon KDP. So stick around to the end, because this nugget of wisdom from AI World is something you definitely don't want to miss. All right, Claude AI, the new gen AI assistant from Anthropic, is like a cousin to ChatGPT, but more focused on being helpful, honest, and harmless. It came out last year, and we're putting it to work today to craft a cool story about a kid discovering and befriending a robot in a junkyard. Here's my sample prompt. Create me an engaging title for a children's book about a kid who found a junk robot that he fixed, came alive, and they became friends. We'll also ask Claude AI to come up with five title options. While it responds quickly, the first batch doesn't quite hit the mark. So we'll give Claude AI another shot to come up with better options. The third one is looking promising. Sparky and Sam, an electrifying friendship. So we'll use this title for our storybook. Now we're going to ask it to outline the entire story. Look how quickly Claude AI provided us with five chapters. Our first chapter introduces us to our characters, saying, Sam is a whiz kid inventor who loves to tinker and build cool contraptions. One day, while rummaging in the junkyard for parts, he stumbles upon a broken down robot named Sparky. With that in hand, we just need to ask it to create a rhythmic writing style story for chapter one and repeat this until chapter five. And after a few minutes, we now have our very first children's book. And we didn't have to come up with a single word ourselves. Mission accomplished. Leonardo. Next, let's perform some AI wizardry to breathe life into our story by generating animations. Leonardo AI stands out as a popular image generator, and it's not just because it's free. If you want the full Leonardo AI tutorial, check out our other videos linked in the description. The cool thing about Leonardo is that you can train your own model allowing you to create a consistent character. This makes it easier for us to craft a storybook without worrying about getting a different character every time we generate a new chapter. Now, to answer the ultimate question, how to generate consistent characters in Leonardo AI. First, go to image generation and let's come up with a prompt describing Sam's physical features and core attributes. For instance, Sam, an eight-year-old with tousled blonde hair, adorable freckles on his cheeks, and sparkling green eyes filled with curiosity and charm. Envision his Disney-like appearance and HD quality, emphasizing the enchanting features that make him a lively and captivating character. To avoid disfigured body parts, which Leonardo has a tendency to generate, use negative prompts. Include unwanted parts, like disfigured limbs, a deformed face, disfigured fingers, and body. Make sure to switch to 3D animation style for the fine-tuned model before hitting generate. Just a quick note, if you are struggling to come up with ideas for your prompt, don't worry, Leonardo AI has you covered. You can use the Leonardo prompt generator to help create a Leonardo AI image prompt for your project. Now, returning to our image, we've successfully generated four impressive pictures of Sam. Let's generate again for more reference. Now we're gonna save these images to create a new model. Click on the Leonardo AI dataset training section to create a new model. The good news is you can still train a model on the free plan, but it's limited to only one. So if you want to train more models, feel free to subscribe to their monthly plan. But of course, I'd recommend doing that after you've actually made profits to ensure it's a win-win situation. Anyway, fill in the name and description using the same prompt we used earlier. After that, upload photos of the character using the images we generated earlier. Since free tier users can only train one model, we'll just add his robot friend Sparky in the illustration using Leonardo AI Canvas Editor. By the way, I've also made a video comparing Leonardo and Midjourney on who can create more consistent characters. So make sure to check out the link in the description if you want to know who came out on top. After the process of creating a model is complete, let's use our model. Click the Leonardo AI Canvas Editor and switch the fine-tuned model to our own Leonardo Train AI model. Also, change the canvas mode to text-to-image feature. For the prompt, make sure to include Sam's name and description. 
For example, Sam, an eight-year-old with tousled blonde hair, adorable freckles on his cheeks, and sparkling green eyes filled with curiosity and charm. Sam, walking in a junkyard and finding a broken robot on the ground. Once again, include negative prompts to avoid any unwanted parts, and let's generate it. If Sparky is not in the picture, let's enhance it by using the outpaint slash inpaint feature in the canvas editor. Switch the fine tune model back to 3D animation for that Disney-like feel. Adjust the image size, making sure the box covers the right area. Use the sketch feature on the left sidebar to draw where we want Sparky to appear. Now let's type our prompt. Something like, replace with a friendly robot named Sparky with cool features. Hit generate and repeat this process for the other chapters. Look at that. Let's pick which one looks pleasing. I'm going with this one. In the next part of our story, where Sam is chilling at home with his new pal Sparky, let's bring it to life. Use the same instructions we gave earlier for Sam, but this time let's change the ending to Sam is in his room talking to a tiny broken robot. You can analyze each chapter to create a simple Leonardo AI children's book prompt for each page. In some cases, you can just copy the prompt from Claude AI and paste it here, but for more detailed illustrations, it's better to analyze the scene for simple and much better results. Now let's fast forward to the most crucial part, creating a book cover that truly stands out. Using the canvas editor once again, we'll input a prompt for Leonardo. Let's ask Leonardo to create Sam, an eight-year-old with tousled blonde hair, adorable freckles on his cheeks, and sparkling green eyes filled with curiosity and charm, with a friendly robot named Sparky, laughing together in a scenic place. If, by any chance, Sparky doesn't appear again, we can simply outline the area where we want him to be and enter the prompt we crafted earlier. This step is pivotal as the book cover plays a significant role in catching the eye of potential readers. Canva. So now, let's try to piece it all together using Canva. So, how to make a children's storybook on Canva? Well, it's as easy as it sounds. Canva is super easy to use for projects like this. It has many templates to pick from, especially with its new magic features. In the landing page on Canva, go to its search box, look for a storybook template, and select Create a Blank Storybook. Now, simply copy the images we generated earlier and paste them into Canva. Adjust the size to fit the canvas, tweak the position as needed, and make minor adjustments like adding a vignette effect and sharpening the image. Feel free to explore and modify the image until you're satisfied. Next, copy the text from Claude AI and paste it into Canva, aligning it to the bottom half. Adjust the text by changing the font style to Courier Prime and adding a shadow for depth in the story's content. Experimenting with presets can alter the text's appearance. Once the first illustration is complete, duplicate the page by clicking the plus icon on top of the image. Repeat these steps for the remaining illustrations and you're on your way to creating a captivating storybook. Now this time, let's nail down the dimensions for our children's book cover design on Canva. Wondering how? Head to kdp.amazon.com. If you haven't signed up yet, it's totally free, so go ahead and create an account. Once you're in, navigate to Help, then Format Your Paperback and grab a cover template. Now provide the details. Binding type, paperback. Black and white for the interior type. Yellow paper for paper type. Left to right for turn direction. Measurement units, inches. Interior trim size, 8.5 by 11 inches. And page count, 12. Click Calculate Dimensions and download the template. It comes in both PDF and PNG formats. Double click the PNG and you'll discover that the overall dimensions of your book template are 17.43 by 11.25. Head back to Canva, input these dimensions in inches, start a new design and upload the PNG under Uploads. Now let's craft our book cover. Click on Elements, locate Lines and Shapes, choose the square shape and create the back cover by dragging from the top left to the bottom right. Give it a yellow-orange color. Next, let's upload our generated image for our book cover, flip it horizontally, and position it to cover both the front and back. To add text, click on Text and include a subheading. Type in our title, which is Sparky and Sam, an electrifying friendship, and use a distinctive font. Enlarge and reposition the text, change its color to a slight off-white, and add an outline for emphasis. In the bottom right corner, use the shape element to introduce a cloud shape with an orange color. Type in age and 8 to 12 underneath. Adjust transparency to ensure nothing gets cut off when the final cover is created. 
Finally, download the cover as a PDF. All that remains is to upload our storybook on Amazon KDP. We won't go into further detail here, but you can find tips on how to upload and drive sales for your book on Amazon by checking the links provided in the description. Now, let's take a look at our children's book outcome. In just a few minutes, we've created this wonderful piece. And who knows, we might achieve thousands of dollars with it. Others have done it, so why can't we? I'll keep you posted on our results soon. If you want more insights into AI tech and how to make the most out of these tools, stay tuned for our future videos. Make sure to subscribe and smash that like button and catch you in the next video.